Digital Dice Dice is used to play many games, like Snake Ladder, Ludo etc. Generally dice is made up of wooden or plastic, which gets deformed with time, and become biased. A digital dice is a good alternative, of old-fashioned dice, it can't be biased or deformed. It operates at such high speed, that no one can cheat. To create this digital dice circuit, we will use triple 5 timer IC, and CD4026 IC. These are the components, which are needed in this project, triple 5 timer IC, CD4026 IC, 8 pin IC base, 16 pin IC base, 2, 1 kilo ohm resistors, 220 ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm variable resistor, 100 nano fed capacitor, 1 red LED, 7 segment display, 9 volt battery, PP3 battery connector, on off. Rocker switch, tact switch, 1 0 PCB, 4 screw with nuts, and 4 plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery, to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor, to protect the LED. From high current and voltage, triple 5 is a timer IC. It can work in three different modes, monostable, astable, and bistable mode. In this project, we are using it in a stable mode. So it will continuously give the high and low signal, at its output pin. Output pulses from triple 5 timer IC, are used as clock signal for CT4026 IC. A tact switch is used between pin number 3 of triple 5 timer IC, and pin number 1 of CD4026. CD4026 IC is a 7 segment driver IC. It is used to display the numbers from 0 to 9, on the 7 segment display. It starts from 0, and when it get a clock pulse, it displays 1, then on the next clock pulse, it displays 2, and so on. When we press the tact switch, then clock pulses reaches at IC's pin number 1, and it starts displaying the numbers one by one. Clock frequency is so high, that's why we can see the changing numbers on the display. When we release the tact switch, then 7 segment display, shows the current number. This is how the digital dice works. Each time we press and release the tact switch, the display shows a random number. These components will be used. To make the circuit, first of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB, and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw, inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer, and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. Use a permanent marker, to make the outline on the PCB. Use the tweezer, to make the hole in the PCB. Use the cutter, to cut the plastic. Now insert the switch, inside the hole. Now we will solder, the 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. This resistor, will protect the LED, from high voltage and current. Now we will solder, the power indication LED, on the PCB. Now we will solder the 8 pin IC base. Now we will solder the 16 pin IC base on the PCB. Now we will solder 
the seven segment display Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Short pin number 8 of IC base with pin number 4. Now we will solder the variable resistor. It has 3 pins. We will use the middle pin and any one of the two side pins. Now we will solder the 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitor. This is a non-polarized capacitor, so we can mount it from either side. Short pin number 6 of IC base, with pin number 2. Now short pin number 15 with pin number 2 of 16 pin IC base. Now short pin number 2, with pin number 8. Connect pin number 8, with ground power supply. Connect pin number 16, with positive power supply. Now short pin number 16, with pin number 3. Now connect pin number 8, of 8 pin IC base, with positive power supply. Connect pin number 1, with ground power supply. Now we will solder the tact switch on the PCB. Tact switch has 4 pins, 2 upper pins, are shorted with each other from inside, 2 lower pins, are also shorted with each other. Now connect pin number 3 of 8 pin IC base, with the lower pins of tact switch, and connect pin number 1 of 16 pin IC base, with upper pins of tact switch. Now connect a 220 ohm resistor between ground and pin number 3 of 7 segment display. Short pin number 3 with pin number 8. Now connect pin number 7 of 7 segment display with pin number 10 of 16 pin IC base. Connect pin number 6 of 7 segment display with pin number 12 of 16 pin IC base connect pin number 4 of 7 segment display with pin number 13 of 16 pin IC base connect pin number 2 of 7 segment display with pin number 9 of 16 pin IC base connect pin number 1 of 7 segment display with pin number 11 of 16 pin IC base Connect pin number 9 of 7 segment display with pin number 6 of 16 pin IC base. Connect pin number 10 of 7 segment display with pin number 7 of 16 pin IC base. Now we will solder the PP3 battery connector. Connect the red wire with the positive terminal and black wire with the negative terminal in the circuit. Now plug the IC on the IC base. Now give the power supply to the circuit, and check its functioning. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video, and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts, regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number, 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website, 
www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.